Ohio, here is what a beautiful morning to go out and play with your new toy for a bit, isn't it? Welcome back to the island and uh, welcome to the age of Argent Davies. My first trip with him is a bit less glamorous than it could be because we are fulfilling our duty here and oh there's raptors. We are fulfilling our duty here to get rid of all the raptors because nobody likes them. Strike down there doesn't like them. Um, the, uh, yeah, food doesn't like them. Um, this uh, hmm, diplo down there doesn't like them. And uh, yeah, we just really did everyone a favor in getting rid of those. But, oh, hello! Nobody likes you either! No, my actual duty here is... Uh, I hear steps. There's no V-Raptor. Okay, that's okay. My actual duty here is collecting some of this metal and... Uh, also some of the crystal, probably. Because now with the Archie, this is not a uh, big of a problem anymore. With the Pteranodon, I could transport like maybe 10 metal or so. And now I can just whack away on this metal, um, like metal node, and even encumber myself. And it's uh, really he heavy, and I put it on him, and it's only half as heavy. So, yeah. That's how you do. Oh, still over here. Oh my god. Almost crapped my pants. So, we're gonna go smelt this metal at home. And uh, there we go. Then we need to go out and uh, look for. Oh, you are. Okay. You are not a thing. Look for more new toys because the next thing I want to do is build my uh, like real base, my final base, other than the one we have, which is just our starter base. And I do not at all, not even a little bit, uh, plan on staying there because, yeah, it's not the best place. It's a great place for beginning, but uh, for the advanced game it's not that good because you're so far away from all the good stuff. And also it's so hot all the time. I don't fancy being hot all the time, to be honest. Neither do my Archies. They, uh, they have been complaining that it's too hot and yeah, their feathers get all sweaty. And, uh, I can't hear it uh, anymore, to be honest. I'm also keeping the stone because the stone weighs lets on him as well and uh, oh, might as well. Why not? You can always use stone. So anyway, anyway to build this uh, new huge base I want to build, I will first need to go and tame some, yeah, you're good, some utility dinos because um, Whacking on stones for years and uh, cutting down trees for years by hand, just not gonna do it. And uh, I don't wanna do that. And so I need the uh, corresponding dinos that can do the work for me, can do it faster and more efficient and better and more glamorous. And uh, <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with that, but yeah, we need new dinos. That's the point. And uh, the list, the shopping list, contains of one dino for stone, which would be a uh, dodecarus, <laughs> one dino for thatch, which which would be at our level the or uh, the deer, the megaloceros. Well, that's gonna be fun. Um, we need one dino for wood, of course. Um, the the go-to would be beaver. But actually, since you know the game already gave me two mammoth saddles, and uh, also uh, to be honest, I never really used a mammoth before. I always used beaver. But I kind of uh, I have to s look into it if I can tame a mammoth. But if I can, I will totally want to tame a mammoth instead because that sounds like a fun thing, right? 
And uh, yeah, it's got it's totally gonna be a male and uh, it's totally gonna be named Manfred. And I see Trike Egg and I gonna snatch that afterwards. Uh Yeah, so the final if I oh yeah I can move. The final utility dino we're gonna need is gonna be for metal and <laughs> stuff like that and that's gonna be an Anki. And I even think Anki is gonna be the easiest of all those because uh, they spawn at the marsh pit where we already have a taming pen. Um, because of that I think I'm gonna start over there. I mean there's also Dodicarus and the snow biome with the mammoths is also not far away. So I guess I'm gonna start there and yeah, see where we can go from there. So here we are and while I was flying here I thought why not fly by the redwoods and I found this guy. Dropped him through the hatch frame here and he's only level 100 but I think for a thatch guy it will do. So let's see who has my arrows. I have my arrows. Now that's cool. Also, these two things: a uh, parser saddle blueprint and a chitin helmet. Uh, yeah, got them from a loot trip on the way. A uh, loot drop on the way. I'm tripping. Can I give you a headshot, maybe? Oh, hell. I must have heard, dude. I'm sorry. <laughs> Butt chick? <laughs> out and uh, yeah I totally didn't forget to bring the simple kibble I made last time <laughs> no 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 didn't do that it was also totally not tame hit I totally did and it totally does oh yeah anyway so while he is taming I'm gonna see what I can see I guess So I see Stegos and uh, some little dudes. I see Anki. Anki is level 10. Okay. That's not a good Anki. I see Dodicarus. Level 20. You won't do, dude. And as always, I forgot my long chance, but for a little bit I can stand the cold, I guess. Mm. There's been Ankies here the last time, but I think they all went extinct somehow. So, yeah. I'm gonna get looking around for a bit. And he's up. Let's see. What can you give us? No, oh, 280 weight. It's not. It's not that good, dude. But yeah, it's gonna be okay. Can you all thatch? Thatch. Thatch, Bambi. Yes, yes, you are a thatch, Bambi. Put you in here, um, whoop. ready for the next dude. By the way, did I put my red cowboy hat on full? Yes, I totally did. <laughs> Isn't he great? Isn't he? Isn't he? Foo. Yeah. So I have been thinking since I forgot my long chance since I get so cold all the time maybe we should do something again against that ok 
Oke. Okay. So let's see. Can we do? Can we make any of this? We can make those. Better than nothing, I guess. So, oh, level. Thank you. Uh, oh. Put this on us. And yeah, it does totally improve our uh, well being and our um, cold resistance for 500%. <laughs> With bare arms and those gloves. That's how it works, right? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go looking. You know what? I should maybe... Because I'm sure I'm gonna lose those. I put them in here. And I'm gonna go looking again. Because... No, haven't seen anything interesting so far except for an alpha carno which uh, oh hey we have rex flavor oh level 85 not too good so yeah there's uh, an alpha carno over there on that um, glacier thing and uh, he would be good xp for for our Archie, but there's also um, UTs nearby, so it's a bit dangerous. I don't know if I want to risk it. Right there. It's only level 20, though. Oh, oh and see, the furry gloves work so well. My, I'm hot. Yeah, I know, I'm so hot. Oh, there's the UT. Abandoned mission? Or actually, not abandoned mission, but... <laughs> I wanna drag you guys over here. Come on, dude. Come on. Go get him, Fu! But you need to hit him to get him. And it's hard to tell because he's all red, but he's already really bloody. Hello! Belly punch! Tree punch! Get him, Fu! Yeah, I got healing buff now. You don't stand a chance. Whew. Let's eat him anyway. So, yeah. Our first alpha creature. And oh my gosh, Torikami gained six levels. Also, part of this damage was. Uh, oh, hello. I'm out. Sheesh. Okay. That was not that good. But yeah, with the bird here, nothing bad should happen because we're just flying. And I see metal. Hello, metal. How are you doing? I'm gonna grab you here in a sec. This dude is resilient. Oh no, he lost aggro. He lost aggro. Abandon! Abandon! Ooh, okay. Ah, let's see. Is he coming at us again? Obnoxious. Well, he's stuck down there, right? 
Dude, stop. I want to check my loot, okay? So what did we get? Wow. We got a, uh, like, carnal arm, which is okay. Uh, we got a chest piece, a height chest piece, which is uh, normally, I've, wait, 20 armor, and this is 42, so that's cool. We got a better hatchet. So, hello. Of course we have to move the skin, because skin skinny skill we got another uh, slightly slightly improved hatchet and uh, we got a pistol I don't need pistol I never use that thing and we got this cool mask uh, or helmet bone skin t-rex helmet skin bone thingy whatever oh I'm a bit excited I'm so sorry and uh, yeah Fu is totally gonna love that so let's see bring that to 800 because we like that and Yeah, 3,000 is good. And look at all that prime, oh my gosh. So, oh, our level up, yeah, right. We also got levels, two levels, we're level 76 now, holy shit. Holy camoly, we can all already learn the rack saddle. Wow. Moving up. And um, hey, just metal right here. Hello. Hello, oh, oh, hello, feathers, I guess. Let's see, can we? Hello, oh, you're not very good, okay. So anyway, I'm gonna grab that metal smelted over at the, where the taming can is, and yeah, gonna see what other things I can see. We do now have the meanest looking foo in the world, don't we? I'm gonna die that sucker red once we are back at base and it's gonna be so awesome. Also that wee little Rex over there, he's gotta go. Yeah. Okay, but this is probably the funkiest thing I ever got out of a loot drop. It's a blueprint <laughs> It's a blueprint for a note. Uh this is so funny because Note is one of the two free engrams you get at the beginning of the game. You, you can not, not have those and you get it as a blueprint in a loot drop. That's so funny. Uh, yeah, I never seen that before. It was a white drop and I don't know, it's, it cracks me up. Seriously. Uh, one other thing, I got the recipe for Mind Wipe Tonic of uh, one of the predators. Uh, that's also very cool because, yeah, sometimes you just need to forget uh, the. It's a very big or like complicated recipe. You need a lot of stuff, as you can see. Eighteen dollars narcotic is probably um, over. Uh, it's I think it's over a hundred narcotic and yeah stuff like that. But yeah, this is really cool. Look at those dorks. They are stuck in the snow. That's funky. Never saw something like that. Also, I found sheep. I, I have no idea what to do with the sheep because uh, they are so rare on the island. That, uh, uh, it's kind of a cool find, but what do I do with him? I don't know. <laughs> and uh, I think I'm just gonna bring him over for now. Because, hmm, I don't know, it would be kind of hard to cook up all the mutton uh, with just campfires, but also cooked mutton could be useful for uh, certain things. <laughs> with uh, certain things, of course, being taming a Tyler Coleo, but yeah, I don't know. Let's see what we do with you. Because I can't tame him. The, the sheep they tame with sweet veg cake and we don't have that yet. So yeah. Guys, I think I may have broken the foo. He's uh... 
Yeah, I don't know what he's doing, but uh, it's not normal. And um, maybe he's in a food coma. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I'm here dropping up some things. Uh, my fires went out, which is of course oh, that was the wrong one, which is of course not acceptable. And uh, yeah, we got a lot of metal here that's not smelting, which is also not acceptable. Uh, we got Rex arm. Don't know where that came from. I have no idea. Uh, <laughs> so yeah, I'm having a lot of fun. Also, oh, foo yeah, that's better. Fossil. <laughs> hey guys, I found another ruin, and it has explorer note. Let's see, Nerva note number three. Oh my god, Exercitatione Facitius Kelvin Mecum Cri. No, just kidding. Um, let's get away from the bad dudes. Um, uh, where is it? Nerva. Training grew easier once my charges began to see the results. In fact, they found such a wellspring of enthusiasm that their drills and chores alone, alone cannot contain it. This morning I found a flag flying above the armory. It was the symbol of the Imperial Legion, but with one of the island's flying lizards replacing the eagle and words in a foreign language replacing SPQR. I'm told they say the new legion. I admit I smiled at the sight. Wait, flying lizards? Oh, Pteranodon, like. Oh, yeah, there's a picture of a Pteranodon. Never mind, never mind. My mind was wandering up to. Uh, was wandering up to Wyverns. But yeah. Very well then, it's time to find out if, I, if I've created true legionnaires. We march at dawn. Gaius Marcellus, or Marcellus, Nerva, Victoria, per Disciplina. Okay, okay. So apparently there was a Roman dude over here on the island at one point. That's interesting. I found another one. Oh, hello, Rain. I was just looking at this bear and then uh, I thought, what is that thing behind him? That's so odd. And yeah. Another one of Mr. Nervous notes. Um, number 28. Okay, okay, later one. It says, my men are uneasy. News reached us that the Howling Wolves are on the march, heading straight, f heading straight for the heart of New Legion territory. Some want to turn back and defend our home. I understand the instinct, but they lack my foresight. Only Rockwell... Oh, Rock? Oh, Rockwell. So they... The two of them have been here on the same time. At the same time. Only Rockwell has the strength of mind to see my vision. We are nearly to the cave. Once I hold the power it contains, I can use it to crush the howling wolves and their petty forces. Whatever gains they make will be erased. I'll unite the entire island in a single glorious battle. Okay. Men will be men, I guess. Soon they'll see. Everyone will see. I am this island's destined emperor. I am its destined god. Yeah, man will be man. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, okay. Do it on you, Mr. Nerva. Wonder if it worked. So yeah. Let's go on. I found a 150 Allosaur. And he's stuck on another Allosaur's butt. But yeah, that's something I need to keep in mind because Alistair are really cool, especially for one of the boss fights. Actually for two of the boss fights. So yeah, let's get out of here. Sadly I can't pick Alistair up, up with the Archie, that would be cool. That would make things... Oh, hello, how are you doing? 
I can't see your level, dude. See what I'm dealing with? With there are so many pieces of candy everywhere on this map. Uh, speaking of it, I'm actually here now at Forest Peak. Kind of just looking around, and oh wow, you're level 110, and there's this other one over uh, over there, which is 150. The quetzals on this map are really good. I don't even need a quetzal, but just knowing they are there and uh, I could take them, um, yeah, that's pretty cool. But oh, do you see what I see? Because I see ruins. Hello, you're special. Oh, it's question mark, question mark, question mark number four. Okay, okay. I can't be certain when you find this sliver of thought. Perhaps it will be the first one that touches your mind. Or the last. Oh, I hope it's not the last. Cause and effect I can follow for reason. But time itself, that takes concentration. Seconds, centuries, decades, hours, minutes. All these bleed together into a swirling torrent. Do they? Okay. It wasn't always this way. I know that. Once time passed for me as it did for you. But now I cannot be sure how long I have been waiting. Only that it has felt eternal. The past, the present and the future matter in so far as their, their effect on everything else. But for me, concepts, variables. Not illusory, but not tangible either. I uh, okay. That is not ominous at all. Oh, oh, hello. That is not ominous at all, okay? But okay. Fu? Fu Fu is having a bad time again. It it, it blew his mind and the uh, Yeah. He's, he can't even, he, he's, uh, he can't. <laughs> okay, he just told me that he's only taking a nap and that everything is fine. And the uh, bone helmet is just really heavy, so that's why he's doing this thing. Okay, good to know, Fu. Thanks, dude. I found a little dude. I was circling around uh, Forest Peak. Uh, right over there is that hun level 150 Allo. And uh, yeah, I saw this T-Rex uh, eating this little guy and I was gonna help and uh, killed the T-Rex. Uh, it was only level 20, so no big deal. Um, yeah, little Dodicris here is level 130. It's gonna work for us. And we are back at the marsh pit taming pen and I dropped a little Dodicris in here together with the sheep who is still <laughs> here and I, <laughs> I still don't know what to do with him to be honest. And uh, yeah, I crafted a bunch more um, oh wow, arrows because yeah, I still don't have like metal and stuff and especially not enough narcotics for darts. But yeah, Dodicarus is gonna take it fine. Hello. Don't hit the sheep, okay? So yeah, this gonna take a bit and I gonna bring you guys back. And he's out and apparently the sheep is very worried and uh, yeah, he came up and looked at him and... Uh, but he seems to be... Um, <laughs> have decided that the Dodi Curse is gonna be okay and... Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I also hope, also hope the Dodi Curse is gonna be okay. It took so many arrows. Um, I think it took like 45 or more arrows. And uh, even my crossbow <laughs> broke while shooting him. And yeah, good thing I had this other crossbow on me. And uh, yeah, see, they have so much torpor. And yeah, 
for dude is a little bit bloody now, but uh, he's gonna be fine. And he's gonna take a little nap, and uh, I'm gonna put the. Oh, hold on. The mantra bear is on. Foo, where are you going? Foo, come back! Oh my jeez. Uh, the. Gotta put the berries on him, like so. And the uh, one berry gives him 3.6%, so it's gonna take a while. And I hope he won't lose too many levels. So with 100% it's plus 69, we're gonna see how much gains in the end the, the... Yeah, I think it's gonna take almost half an hour, so... Ah, see you guys then! <laughs> and the little dude is up! Well, the sheep is still a bit concerned, and uh... Yeah, I'm seeing if everything is okay with him... We have this little dude and he didn't lose a level. Can I give those to me? Thank you. Uh, yeah, wait for Hunter, that's not bad and this damage is really good. What's your name gonna be? Tell me. Tell me. Aww. Wrecking Ball. Because that's what he is. Right? What? Hello. Yeah. I'm gonna freeze you up for now. Also, uh, yeah. It's gonna be night here soon. And oh no, I hit the sheep. I'm sorry, dude. I didn't want to. That's so odd. Sometimes when you um, like freeze up the guys, they you hit them, like punch them, unintended, but. Sorry, dudes. I'm so sorry. Please don't hate me. Well, he's gonna hate me one more once I eat him. And but yeah, he doesn't need to know that, right? <laughs> yeah. So anyway, I also crafted the crafted this um, new chest piece, which has uh, 199 armor. And, uh, I found the blueprint in a loot drop. And. Uh, I also crafted me some nice warm uh, moccasins. Also, funkiest part is we are going belly free now, like back in 2000. <laughs> and <laughs> yeah, it's the most uh, like not going to gather armor pieces ever, but uh, hey, we got 400 armor now, as opposed to. 50 we had in the beginning of the game with just cloth armor so yeah anyway this is gonna do it for the episode because we got a, a, um, a fetch dino well not a dino a fetch bambi and we got a stone dino and uh, we saw a lot a lot of other cool stuff and I can wait to as night falls and everything turns dark. Hold on. Hello. Uh, to go on and go look for the other two dinos. We need the mammoth, which also isn't a dino. I am fully aware of that. And the Anki. Um, this is what we are gonna do in the next episode. And until then, stay safe, stay wild, and have a nice day, everybody. <laughs>